Hi, this is Cheryl McQueen, designer with Del Bellows Designs. Today we're going to play with the liquid pearls. So we're going to take a look at what we can do with liquid pearls. I actually haven't used them a whole lot. I've just started using them recently and I'm really enjoying the things that you can create with it. It just adds such a wonderful touch. So we're going to start out by looking at how the liquid pearls can just make your project pop. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you this card that I made. I used the feather stamp from Lavinia and um, if you look at the stamp just by itself it's a lovely lovely stamp but look what happens when you add the liquid pearls. It just makes this design pop. So let me show you how we add our liquid pearls. Very, very easy to do. I'm going to use the silver liquid pearls and basically what you're going to do is you're just going to squeeze out dots. So very, very slowly squeeze the tube until the liquid comes out to create your bubble. The nice thing about this is that the way the tube is designed, you can actually control the size of the bubbles that you make. If you want to make small drops, you can make a small drop very easily. And if you'd like to make a bigger one, that's a very easy thing to do as well. So as you can see, all I'm doing is just making drops across my design. Liquid pearls have a really lovely luminescent appearance to them. The white isn't opaque, so that helps if you want to use that for making snowflakes or stars that you don't want to have any glitter effect to. And that's it. And look at the difference that makes in how that the feather now just pops out. Isn't that lovely? Now it does take some time to dry, so uh, set it aside. It usually they suggest um, 24 hours to get it completely and solidly finished dry. Um, I found that within a couple of hours it could be ta you know tactilely dry, but it's very easy to. Um, smash them if it's not dry enough. So um, I would recommend if you can to set your work aside um, for the 24 hours so that you can make sure that you don't get any problem. So that is the first technique that we are looking at here. Very simple, very easy. Here is one that is done with the gold liquid pearls. And sometimes getting the light to show on camera how lovely these are uh, is hard to do. But I think you will really appreciate the beauty of using your liquid pearls for something simple like this. Now let's take a look at another project using the liquid pearls. This next project is actually pretty um, good timing because we are getting ready to do our new card exchange for the month and it is Starry Nights. 
So I've actually, this is just something I've kind of started playing with. Um, first of all, I wanted to see what um, I could do on a black background. Um, so I stamped my elements with some white ink. And then I actually used the fluff it paste to get a little texture to the branch. But what this um, is going to demonstrate is how to make the little stars. And this is actually going to be pretty easy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see it a little bit better. And it's actually really easy to make these stars. What you're going to do is you're going to take your liquid pearls and just do a drop. Now you're going to take an ordinary straight pin or an e a needle and you're just going to drag out the liquid into a star shape. The, the pin is pointy enough that you should be able to get a really nice star effect just by dragging the paint out if I can get this to stay in focus where you can kind of see how that star was done. And that's basically all there is to it. Now obviously this is not a, um, I guess what you would say, a realistic star. This is a little bit more of a fantasy star, I guess you would say. But I think it's a lovely effect. And really, like I said, very, very simple to do. So again, we are just doing a drop. You can make it as big or as small as you'd like. Let's go ahead and do a bigger one so we can do a bigger star. Take our pin start dragging out our points and if it helps you to turn your piece do it however it's most comfortable to you and so there's a little bit larger star So again, just a very, very simple technique. Put your little daub of paint down. Take your straight pin. Pull from the center to create your star shape. And there we go. And I will finish out my card with the star. And what I really like about it too is that it, it gives it a little bit of texture. The surface is a little bit raised. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of see how it's raised a little bit. Um, I like that effect as well. All right, let's move on to our next project. So this next project is really fun and it's a little bit on the messy side. So what we're going to do is create this beautiful butterfly and I'm going to try and get it here so you can see how it shimmers. And I actually got this as a Pinterest idea. Um, so I would like to thank the um, blogger LOL. She's the one who uh, demonstrated this particular technique. So what you do with this particular technique is use um, pretty thick paper. This is actually a, a, a um, watercolor paper, a smooth watercolor paper. So just take a little bit of the liquid pearls. I'm going to start with some silver. And this is going to be a smaller project here for just demonstration uh, purposes. That butterfly was pretty large. So I'm just going to squirt some of the liquid pearls out onto the cardstock. 
and then just taking my finger I'm just going to smear it around and just kind of get it just blended or smeared all over the place all right then I will take some gold liquid pearls I just dab some here and there maybe and then we're going to blend that over the top of our silver so that we've got the silver and the gold on there now I just placed an order today for my more colors so I don't have other colors so one of the things that Lol suggested is um, that you can use reinker ink um, and just use it to uh, create a new color if you don't have all the colors that you like so just taking a little bit of the silver I'm just going to make a little bit of a pile right there. And then I'm going to take a little drop of the reinker ink. Just put a little bit there to create kind of a aqua tealy color. And this is where it really gets messy. We'll get get on your fingers, but mix it around and then I'm just going to start adding it randomly to my card I've got the silver um, when my white comes in then I'll be able to use my white but the silver works just as well to create the really pretty shimmery background and that's basically all there is to it you can take a heat tool and dry it if you'd like to since it's a, a thinner layer it doesn't take as long to dry as it does when you're making the little uh, dots. The dots will obviously be a lot thicker so they're going to take a lot longer to dry. So once you have your piece all dry then that's when you can take your die cutter. I actually use the Sweet Poppy the Indian Moth uh, die cutter that I had to create my butterfly and I think it turned out really great look at that shimmer I wish you could see how pretty it is it's so hard to show on on camera how pretty something like this is so with this if you wanted to you can cover your entire card and use that as a background um, or you can do like I did and take that piece and cut it out and use that as a focal point on your card. So for our final project, what a lot of people don't seem to realize is that you can actually paint with the liquid pearls. So I've just done a very basic little background here and we're going to paint the berries. To paint the berries, I'm going to just use a little bit of the red liquid pearls. And it's very simple. Just squirt a little bit out on your on a work surface. You don't need to water it down. Just take your paintbrush and paint your spots. <clears throat> excuse me. Paint the spots that you'd like to have. Have just a little bit of shimmer and sparkle. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of paint on my berries. It's, it's um, 
transparent enough that you can pick up on a little bit of the darker shade of the original stamp back behind them. And if you'd like to, you can even add a little bit of more depth in certain spots to get it a little bit thicker and darker. Or just leave some spots of it a little bit on the lighter side. I know it's a little bit hard to see on camera as, you, as I'm painting this here, but it's just very, very simple. just to fill in those little places there. So I won't paint all of the berries right now, but I will show you the finished product at the end of the video tutorial, a picture of all of the projects that I've finished. But as you can see, you can just treat it just like a regular paint. I don't know if you can catch the shimmer there. It kind of gives it a very neat effect. Um, and then if you'd like to, for this particular scene, we're just going to go in and take our white pearl and we're going to create snow. And we'll do that just the same way that we did on some of our other projects, just with little dots. Just dabbed around in different places just to get a little bit of an effect that it's snowing. Just gives it a little bit of kind of a fun little look. Also, if you'd like to, um, once your berries dry, which I might just go ahead to show you, just kind of dry a little bit with my heat tool here. But to give the berries just a little bit of dimension as well, just go ahead and take your pearl as well and just put a little dot, kind of a little accent there to make those show up a little bit as well. So this is kind of a fun little thing. This one's very basic and very simple. So this is something that you could do really quickly to create a lovely little card. And like I said, just Add your little snowflakes. Quickly do random little dots. So, um, experiment around with your liquid pearls. I'm just starting to learn what I can do with them. Um, I can't wait to see what other kind of experimental things I can do with them. But um, I'm having a lot of fun, so I hope that you do too. Thank you so much for watching this little quick tutorial on how to use the liquid pearls. Um, I hope you enjoy using the liquid pearls, and I sure would like to see what you come up with. Remember to check out the DelBellosDesigns.com website for more tutorials on the Design Team page look at the end of this video tutorial also to see the finished products that um, I have created using the liquid pearls. Have a great day!